they shut down, members of Congress would still get their paychecks. Federal agencies have already sounded the alarm on what would happen in a potential shutdown. And your reporter, Justin Adams, is joining us live this morning. And Justin, this shutdown may interrupt some people's travel plans. Yeah, it's going to have a huge impact on air travel. And look at the lines right now at Denver International Airport. You see how they're empty and how they're moving pretty well. Well, if there is a government shutdown, all that could change because the White House is warning travelers that if there is that shutdown, they could see significant delays and longer wait times at the airport. Even though FAA employees, including air traffic controllers and TSA agents, are deemed essential, they would be required to work without immediate pay. That increases concerns about who will actually show up. Another effect of a possible shutdown comes from those who are trying to get passports. Some passport agencies are housed in government buildings, which means there will be fewer appointments for renewals and new applications, as well as processing delays. Now, this would be very costly to the travel industry. And according to the U.S. Travel Association, a government shutdown, guys, get this, could cost the nation $140 million a day. That's a whole lot of money. So hopefully everything gets taken care of. Yeah. At Denver International Airport, Justin Adams, covering Colorado First. Yeah, we'll see what happens. All right, Justin, thank you.